Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and and I am going to talk about a nice haul, a little tiny haul, a haul from Bath and Body Works people. And I think we're going to be seeing an ending to the ducks, yeah. It's getting close to the end, close to the summer 2015 SAS sale. We're approaching the end, which I don't know if it's good or bad, but I think in the most part I did pretty well with some of the things I got. And I'm going to get started, yeah. I'm unveiling the ducks. I should do it this way. Wait, wait. And there, the curtain has opened. Okay, here is what happened. I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to go back to the store. I had hit that store. I will not lie to you. I was going to Bath and Body Works probably two or three times a week. I know. It's shameful. I know it is. Good thing for me, it's not that far from work, so I figured, okay, let me see if they got anything new going on. But in all sincerity, there wasn't anything tremendously new. Um, as I mentioned the last time, they would change the prices. They, they've been changing prices on bath soaps, $3.50, $3. You know, every day it's like a little change. But truthfully, in the end, it was $3 for this, $2 for that. And then $2 for this, it would always come out to the same. That's okay. All right. I went last week Friday. I promised I, you know, I thought maybe I would be able to find something new. And I'm going to tell you, last week Friday was sort of slightly disappointing because, believe it or not, those red bins that say 75% off, and yeah, I'm going to look there first. Of course I am. Those were the ones that were basically reasonably, um, sadly, empty. But there was a couple of things that I did look at that I liked. And here's one, Country Apple. I did get this in the body mist. I forgot how much I paid for it. I don't know. Let me see. Normally it was $14 and it was on sale for $3.50. So I got this in the body mist. And I like the way it smelled. This one was hardly, there wasn't a lot in there. It's very clean, very, you know, very nice very light smells like apples and i like the smells of apples so i got this one and that's all i got oh, what the heck but i think it's pretty good 350 from 1450 that's pretty good or 14 dollars that's pretty good now here's something do you see this wallflower these were 75 percent off now there's something odd about this wallflower that you might you probably can tell. Yeah, it's a simple wallflower. I go into the store. You know those, like, they have goblets. They're plastic, and they're tall, and they put all kinds of things in them. Well, this plastic, tall, goblet-looking thing was filled with these wallflowers. Now, what's strange about them? I look at them, and I'm looking for a label on any of them. They were no labels, none. I actually went to my sales assistant. I said, excuse me, is, you know, what are these bins? Are, are these like your guess is as good as mine bins? And she started laughing because that's the truth. This is what I saw. Normally these are 650. This is what they were selling. And it was basically um, because they threw them for 75% off because none of them had any labels on them and some of them came sealed yes i opened it what do you want me to do and to me if it smelled good okay i will take this one the others some of them a lot of them look like this yellow color you couldn't tell so i just took this one this was i think how much from 650 i paid a dollar 62 for it i have no idea what it is I know it smells nice and it smells a little like lemon. I have no idea. So that's all I did. No my dollar sixty two for Friday. Now here's what I did do. I had gone and I'd seen a lot of videos, a lot of channels, bad enabler. You influence this. Oh yeah, please does great, great hauls. But here's what happened. I thought to myself, well, I'm going to go. This is the last couple of days. This ends July the 5th. And I have to tell you about gossip because I heard gossip. Of course, I must reveal the gossip. Go in there. See if there's anything new. I had my still my 10 off of 40. Okay, it's on retailme.com, people. 10 off of 40. Show it to them. Be prepared. 
Again, the sales have been fluctuating. One day it's this, one day it's that, one day it's three, one day it's four, one day it's five, one day it's, it's just weird. But in all in all, it's still gonna come out basically to at least it balances out ten dollars one way or another three for this four for it always balances out as far as prices are concerned but the prices are still good what did i get i wanted to hit 40 bucks more of these soaps hand soaps perfect a beach day the foaming soaps i love this fragrance it smells like oranges as i said normally they're 650 this was three dollars i bought two of them that's six dollars six dollars for two then these guys here uh, the Stress Relief Body Wash and Foam Bath in the scent Sandalwood Rose Aromatherapy line. These are nice. This scent is really pretty. It just smells like actual rose oil. I think it mentions rose oil. Yeah, Relax and Unwind Sandalwood Essential Oil. Uh, relaxes and soothes the mind. Rose Essential Oil calms to bring balance and harmony. Okay. I know Bad Enabler got these great foaming soaps are super duper cheap. They weren't there. Believe me, I looked. But there it is, Stress Relief. These were normally uh, $13 and they had them. I think it was $6.50, half price. So I bought two of these. This one, the bath gel in American Apple. It was, I believe, $6. The foaming, what is it, the shower gel. I got one of these. So I was getting close, not that close. I still needed 40 bucks. Here's the prize. Here's what I did get. I noticed these little guys. There they are. These are the testers. These are the candles that they put in front of these wallflowers, except luckily they have names most of the time. But they put these in front of these so you can get a sense of what the scent would be. So they had a couple of these, probably three on the 75% off table. And I thought, hmm, awesome. I mean, I didn't mind. 250. These things are 250. Normally, they're not $10. They don't sell them for you to $10. They only sell these things during the SAS sale. And normally, even though they have a price for 10 bucks, 250. So I said to the sales assistant, I said, out of curiosity, do you have any more? I sounded like, what is it, Oliver Twist? May I have some more? Yes, I did. I asked. I asked nicely. And she was kind enough to actually open the drawers of the area that had these wallflowers, which, by the way, the bins were empty. They were empty. But there's drawers underneath, and, and she actually opened them and started scanning them for anything she could find for me that was 250 Okay, I'm slightly spoiled. Let's not go there. I know you're gonna say, oh my God, yeah, I am slightly spoiled. I go there a lot. They know me by face. Okay, I'm very bad. Okay, so 250 for this. And this is a candle. The scent is fresh and this is spring blue skies, 250. Um, it is, I think four ounces. Yeah, it's four ounces, but it burns 20 to 30 hours, which is neat because these regular ones, which are 14 and a half ounces, burn for 25 to 45 hours. So for 250, again, why not? It's awesome. I bought two of these. And the only thing is that they have this little sticker because the little sticker would say, try me, which means that again, they were in front of the wallflowers. So my thought, I can take this off, I think with um, maybe alcohol or there's, I know there's different chemicals, maybe even nail polish remover. Not that I want to do it, but I don't like that little sticker, but what the heck, 250, uh, fresh blue, spring blue skies. I bought two of those, that's $5. This one, pineapple mango. I was unsure about this one, really. And here's the strange thing. I have to tell you something. I don't really at all like in any way, shape, or form returning anything. If it's returning something, I mean, when I purchase something, I have to examine it left, right, and center only because I keep thinking, gosh, I don't want to return this. I really don't. If I have to, I would, but... I'm not going to buy something even though the price is so phenomenally great just for the heck of it. 
I'm going to buy it because I really, really like it. And the worst comes to worst, if it's falling apart, if it's not working, if it doesn't work for me at all, yeah, probably I might switch it. Pineapple mango is a kind of scent that I'm not tremendously into pineapple. It sort of smells nice. It's really fruity. But the sales assistant at the cash register said this was her favorite. For $2.50, okay, at least. Maybe I'll like it, maybe I won't. $2.50, at least I didn't spend that much for it. And this strange one, pineapple, pineapple mango, if you had ever seen my reviews, I, I had seen a large pineapple mango during the last SAS sale, Christmas time one, this size, this size. And it was in the 75% off, and even though it was 75% off, I don't know what happened with it, but it was 67 cents after my coupon. So I have a pineapple mango that I have yet at all to burn, because I don't know if it's like a commemorative pineapple mango, but I literally only bought this one because I figured, okay, I'm not going to burn the 67 commemorative issue one, um, so I'm going to pay 250 for this, and... Um, it smells like pineapple and mango and see, you know, oh, well, that's what it smelled like, you know. It's like one of those decorative doll things, that one in the back, you know, the bigger one, which I'm not going to burn. Here, I actually stopped the film just to show you. This was the commemorative pineapple mango, the original, 67 cents. Yeah, that's what I paid for it. 22 ounces. It's an old candle. I would not... Not that I smell it, I like this one more. Um, I would not burn it because of the price. So, as I said, I got one for two fifty, and as I said, it's very nice. I uh, I don't like returning or switching things. I prefer switching over returning for money, unless something goes on with it. I don't know. It's rare. Okay, continuing. Bright verbena blossoms. This is from the I think the Provence collection. I'm not too sure. It smells like lemons. It actually smells pretty good. Yellow verbena, lavender, lily, shine into your home. I like this one. So this was two fifty, and then Big Island bamboo, which was that beach collection. That one. Uh, the exotic trees of South Seas are celebrated in a blend of tropical green leaves, crystal blue waters, and a hint of pink coral. It smells nice and fresh. Big Island Bamboo. And again, two fifty. That was pretty good. And then another one, one that I love, actually. Sparkling Limeade, which was available in the large uh, 14 and a half ounce, the medium one. And um, this one, Sparkling Limeade. And this is just White Barn Candle. And this one, Refreshing Sophisticated Touch of Citrus. Blend of Juicy Lime, Sparkling Water, and a Hint of Sugar Quenches Your Thirst for Spring. I really like this scent. It's a simple green, lime, deep, nice scent. Now, here it was. I did in total, oh, by the way, this was $40. This is what I spent for all of these little candles. Not this one, let me take them out of the way. I'm taking them out of the equation. Oh, here's $40, okay. That's what I spent on this. So anything from, yeah, I'll focus, don't worry. Uh, from these candles all the way through to this beach day was 40 I think in total I spent 42.10 it was 42.10 and because I had the $10 coupon it came out to 32.10 which is awesome and these candles which were Price. They priced them at ten dollars, but then I got them for two fifty, and then after my coupon, they came out for a dollar eighty-seven. Now, mind you, this is even better than, as far as price is concerned, than this. Okay, you know these little tiny babies that they sell for four fifty. So these testers are better, as far as price is concerned, than these little ones. So. 
I think I made out well. I think so. So that's what happened with this. So I paid $42.10 and they said this $1.80, what was it? $1.88, $1.87, um, some things were $4.88 and some things were, I think the $3 one was $2 or $2.25 for these. So this is pretty good. I did well. I, yay. Now, the gossip. Here is the gossip because you know I'm going to tell you. I asked about the destination candles. And as I mentioned, the destination candles are coming out right after this. So when is right after this SAS 2015 summer sale for Bath and Body Works? That's a mouthful. When does this end? Um, the 5th of July. And that's the end of that one. So try to go see if you can find anything. And if you have a coupon, get it off of retailmenot.com. They still have the 10 off of 40, which is great. It's still good. And see if they have some good sales and see if they have these. And maybe, maybe your sales assistant will open the drawers and will scan them for you. And maybe you'll get something for 250 because the price to me is good. But let me carry on. I talk too much. Okay. Destination candles. I asked about them only because of this. These candles, these beach house collection or whatever the heck they call these collection candles. I went there today and they're still $11, which is a nice price. It really is a nice price. But in the mix of all of these candles, I see one called Chicago. And I thought, wait a second. What do you mean Chicago? Is that one of them? And when I smelled it, unfortunately, I didn't like it. It had popcorn in it. But in the meantime, I asked my sales assistant about it. I said, hmm, are those the destination candles? And she goes, no, no, that one is an old one. We're just getting rid of it. So maybe you might see an old destination kind of looking candle mixed in with these. I don't know. But I'm talking to her and I go, by any chance, do you have them? Do you have the destination line? Because I don't, I know I, you can't sell it, but may I smell it? And yes, she brought them out. Now, I didn't get to smell all of them. She did not have all of them. No, but I did get to smell some of them. Now, some of you that are lucky enough to have the White Barn Candle Store by you, uh, would have smelled the destination candles. Unfortunately, I do not have a White Barn Candle Store next to me. It's probably better for my pocket though. Meaning, yeah, uh, but anyway, I would, I wanted to smell it. What did she bring out? She brought out uh, Istanbul, she brought out Hawaii, she brought out Paris, and I know there's one more that she brought out that smelled like amber, sparkling amber from the Intrigue and Opulence line. It wasn't that good. I, I, I didn't like it because I didn't even like the sparkling amber from the Intrigue and Opulence line, so I guess I wouldn't like that. Anyway, talking too much, but but she brought out, uh, as I said, Istanbul, Hawaii, and Paris. Which one did I draw to immediately? See this Paris Daydream one? This is, yes, a tester candle, and I got this during the last Christmas SAS sale, and that's when I found out that they had a Paris destination candle. They're bringing it back. It's blue, by the way. The one this size, it's blue, not white, it's blue, and it has the Eiffel Tower and everything. It smells so good. It smells wonderful. So I did smell that. Hawaii, I liked. It smelled good. Istanbul, I don't think I liked it too much. I asked her about the other ones. New York, they should be receiving soon. Italy, they should be receiving soon. And London, London Calling, the T one, they should be receiving it soon also. So they're going to get a lot of different scents. I don't, I'm not sure. Whatever White Barn put out as far as these destination candles are, um, I don't know if all of the scents that were on different channels, if all of them are going to be uh, put out with Bath & Body Works. I do know that I did notice... See like this Paris Daydream, the blue candle that matches this. It has, not Paris Daydream, it goes by another name. Um, again, it's going to be blue. It says Bath and Body Works. It doesn't say White Barn. Not that it matters. But again, I, I'm not sure if all of them are going to be given to us or allowed to us. I don't care. I'm happy. I'm going to go after the Paris Daydream or the Paris one anyway. Um... It's coming out, dun, dun, dun. it's coming out on July the 6th, which is Monday. So as soon as this SAS sale is done, these are going to come out, the, the um, 
the destination candles are going to come out to Bath and Body Works, which is awesome. Um, I am going to go in actually probably the weekend before next week, Saturday and Sunday, and I'm going to see if they bring out any of the other ones and they won't give it to me. I don't think so. I'm not sure. I, I, I but I w it would be nice if I can smell the others so I can prepare myself for Monday. Now, what might happen? Because sometimes it does happen. What might 